Hey, come here, you little booger. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my goodness, ow. What's up, YouTube? Today is a very exciting day because we have a brand new addition coming into the GBL Iguana family to add to our uh, breeding program. So, got this little bird cage here set up, which we'll talk about everything more uh, in depth here. So, this is gonna be for a little outdoor setup. So, we've got Lucy, who y'all seen a little bit, uh, one of our really high percentage Lewis size, which again, we're gonna talk more about her in a minute when we move them all in. We just got a boyfriend that came in from Pat Brown, um, who had some of these really amazing animals that he was working on uh, on selling for uh, a buddy of his who doesn't enjoy working with the public, <laughs> which I don't blame him. Um, so yeah, so we got this really awesome, this is gonna be like our, our holy grail Lewis eye pairing. So if you want a blue iguana, this is what's gonna do it. So this is gonna be their outdoor enclosure little bird cage for 120 bucks off Facebook. I just need to get my Allen key so I can take all that junk off, but yeah, got a bunch of branches and whatnot in here and to climb on, they can hide in there. Um, and I just have the dishes in here, which I can throw like water and snacks and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's gonna work out really well. Um, I don't, I didn't put anything down on the floor cause this cage doesn't have like a tray to put on there. I didn't have a big enough piece of wood or a tarp or anything. Not a huge deal. It's just gonna help keep it clean. Poo's gonna fall down. A little piece of wood I did have right there. But anyway, enough about the cage. Let's get into unboxing. All right, so I'm doing the unboxing inside with the and putting them in the cage inside here just in case, you know, Lord knows anything can happen if an animal you know, somehow gets away from me. I can catch them inside the house. Can't catch them outside. Um, but so this animal here, this is a yearling uh, Lewis Eye hybrid um, that is actually, a, uh, well, obviously all of them are at one point or other, they're offsprings of a pure. But this one in particular, so this one's daddy um, was the son of a pure. Um, with the female, of course, there's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, let's talk about the male a little bit more. So the male, I mean, stud book male, which means that they were grandfathered in and 100% legal to own in the United States. It was not a smuggled animal, nothing of that sort. Um, the female, you know, potentially could have been a peer. No one knows, you know, there's no way with, the, with what's been hybridized. Um, so it's a very, very high, high percentage uh, offspring, which then made this little guy. So this guy is really, his grandpa was a peer. Um, and there's, again, there's a good chance that there's some more lineage uh, in there. Oh, hello. <laughs> what a little goober. Bro, if you calm yourself, I can get you out. Oh my goodness. Spunky, which I like. So this guy apparently, uh, he bit that when he was uh, getting him out to send me pictures. So that's, uh, he's got some tood to him. Yeah, so this guy, the, the bloodline on these guys is incredible. Um, I'll drop a picture right here uh, that Pat sent me showing off what this guy's blues already look like. You know, a yearling, that is outrageous. Um, so this is gonna be pretty awesome. Oh, holy crap, hello. Look at that, you can already see the blues coming through on him. Hey, come here, you little booger. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my goodness, ow. These claws are never fun, even when they're this small, man. I mean, whoo, you are a pretty little thing. Oh, don't bite me. Do not try and bite me, look at that guy. Man, that is a handsome, handsome boy right there. Goodness, so it's funny. He's got a he's got a little bit of a little squiggly tail, which just it happens. It's not a big deal by uh, by any stretch. If anything, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> Adds a little bit more character to him. But oh my goodness, look at you, you handsome little devil. Hi. Oh, you angry. So this dude's name is gonna be uh, Ricardo, AKA Ricky. So uh, Auburn and I, we're big fans of the show, uh, Trailer Park Boys, where uh, Ricky is one of the main characters and then Lucy is his uh, on again, off again, girlfriend, wife, whatever you wanna call it. 
Um, and then just with the, the feistiness that this guy has, Ricky is pretty fitting. So everybody meet Ricky. Let's go get ready to, uh, let's put him in here real quick. Here you go, Bubba. Look at that. All right, let's go get Lucy and then uh, let's move him outside. All right, so here's Lucy. And let me tell you, her nails, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna put her in because this actually really hurts. And we'll talk a little more about her. There you go, Lucy. Woo-wee! So yeah, she's a little bit bigger. She's about a year older than him. Um, so she is turning two this year where he will be turning one. I don't know, shutting that, you won't see. Oh my goodness gracious. So Lucy here is descendant of a pure Lewis side. Um, her daddy is is a stud book pure. Or, um, yeah, so he's, uh, he's a gorgeous boy. I've had the opportunity to see him in person and I interact with him a little bit. He's awesome. Um, the mama again is one where, you know, it's a hybrid, but it looks, you know, the blues on it are ridiculous. So. She is, again, blue, super blue bloodlines. He is super blue bloodlines. So this pairing together is, like I said, when I'm saying holy grail pairing, that's what these guys are. I mean, they're, these are gonna be some of the highest percentage Lewis Eye hybrids that you can get that have a traceable bloodline. This isn't just me saying this, that, or the other. This is all traceable. Um, so these guys are just, absolutely going to be incredible um i got a picture of one of lucy's sisters well a year older than she is but same clutch or i'm sorry same parents the same bloodlines out in the sun and i mean blue is an understatement so these guys are going to be just absolutely incredible incredible animals um in the next you know next year she'll probably give us our first you know infertile clutch which is normal year after that we'll get you know hopefully some good stuff so i think this cage is going to work out really well um, i definitely do want to add more branches and whatnot this will definitely get them by and there's enough room in here for them both uh, but i'll add some more but yeah so it's pretty awesome having uh that looks so cool through the, through the greenery there and a little lucy all right let's move these guys outside and take a look at them in the daylight all righty so we are outside hello tortoises they are just running around like crazy because God forbid I come out here without them running around. Um, so yeah, so I got these guys out here. So a little bit of an Tina. It's a little bit of an overcast day out here today, which I was hoping for more sun. Um, but this side here of the deck in the early mornings and all that doesn't really get a lot of sun. But usually right around lunchtime into early afternoon through the rest of the day, it gets really, really good sun. Um, so yeah, so I mean, we can just kind of get on over here and take a look at little Ricky. I mean, you could even just see already, just... You can see the, a lot of that blue starting to really pop through here. Um, and then on our Lucy girl, where she's just been exclusively indoors, you can see where it's popping through on her head. And all of those light grays all over her are just going to turn just sky blue. Um, Oh, goodness gracious. So something else I did, I have this little carabiner right here to help keep this door shut. So even if, God forbid, a squirrel comes around and pops that, it, the door can't get pushed open. Um, so it's a little bit of a pain to take that on and off, but worth it for the Fred word. My, my cactus that freaking squirrels like eating. Annoying. But yeah, so super, super stoked on these guys. Um, I think they're gonna be, they're gonna be awesome. Look at that little belly. Yeah, I still just can't believe how amazing this dude looks. Look at that boy. Definitely a crazy little dude. And then, oh, we're gonna flip you around. And then here's, uh, here's our other little baby girl. Oh, if I can focus through the grates. Yeah, buddy. So uh, our buddy Pat, he does still have some hatchlings left of that pairing. Um, so if you are interested, shoot me a line. Um, and I can get you in touch with him. Um, 
But yeah, he's he's galling them, uh, galling them. He's got them and he's selling them. So that's my combination of the day. Um, and he's got them for uh, you know for what they are, a very reasonable price. So if you are looking for a ridiculously blue hatchling, um, or well, almost yearling at this point, um, let me know, and I'll get you in touch with them. But uh, yeah, just super super stoked. Um, you know, let me know what y'all what y'all think, you know, I mean, I think that he's a handsome boy and I think they're going to pair together really, really well. Um, I'm super glad that he came here. Uh, thanks again to Pat for, uh, for sending this guy to me. Um, you know, this is actually one of Pat's holdbacks. So that's how this guy was really pick of the litter. So he's going to be something super special. Man, I just can't stop. I'm going to get rid of that too. I don't need that. Maybe I'll put that for the squirrels. Look at that boy. Oh my goodness. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell Tina to be quiet because she's down there just barking up a or quacking up a storm. Dogs are in there making noise. So silly. But yeah, catch y'all next time. GBLIguanas.com for some pretty sweet merch. See ya.